For many years, software vendors in the healthcare space have faced the challenge of connecting to healthcare systems. The word interoperability has been thrown around quite often, but in many cases has just been for marketing purposes and not rooted in reality. Interoperability is first governed by the healthcare facility, but also under the direction of the EMR vendors. And now with security issues and increased sensitivity to PHI, systems within healthcare sites have become more closed than ever. The entire medical coding industry has faced the challenge of interfacing and using their tools to increase efficiency, improve accuracy, and reduce healthcare costs. If a software company chooses to go through the process of getting connected, it requires massive amounts of time, patience, effort, and coordination just to get the EMR vendors on board with approving the healthcare systems. Again, the medical record gets generated by the healthcare worker, be it the physician or nurse, and is created within the healthcare system's EMR. With billions of dollars allocated from healthcare sites to the vendors such as Epic, Cerner, Allscripts, GE, Meditech, eClinical Works, and others, they call the shots. For AMI, it's been a 21-year challenge. It comes down to this. How do we as a company make it less challenging for healthcare systems, users, payers, auditors, and anyone wishing to review, touch, or work on a medical record? How can they take advantage of the tools we provide? The answer is to create a simple, user-friendly portal, which has the ability to quickly upload files and process records for coding or auditing results automatically. This is all done without the heavy lift of interfacing. To set the tone of what we're seeing, a user can simply enter the demographic data such as medical record number, date of birth, sex, admit date, or they could just upload the record and our platform has the ability to abstract and populate that data automatically. The entire record could come up based on chronology or time, such as first one to hit the queue, with the next medical record coming up automatically upon the completion of the prior record. So there are many different options here. The central area of the portal is where the record would be uploaded for processing. And this would be where a user could simply copy and paste a medical record in the text prompt. The medical record is now being reviewed and processed by the coding technology. And upon completion, the next screen comes up and identifies the ICD-10 diagnosis and procedure codes along with the appropriate descriptions. Then as we go down the screen, we see a listing of the CPT codes and descriptions. In this case, we only have one CPT code along with the body of text or medical record. Within the record, you will see highlighted medical terminology that the AMI software has picked up and associated with the particular diagnosis and procedure codes listed above. How and where the information that AMI generates is handled might be subject to the use case or even the user. In summary, the AMI portal provides a simple platform that allows users to get access to real-time automated coding results without the need to interface directly with the EMR vendors. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.